welcome to chemistry lover and this is the sixth video of the series 100 important topics in organic chemistry and in this video i am going to talk about the reaction mode of enamine so this is a very popular question and you may have encountered this question in several competitive exams or any other exam and the question is based on the enamine formation how the enamine will form and how it will react basically the regioselectivity of the reaction so from this particular reaction two products are possible and they are this one or this one that's that is either the methylation the there are two steps of methylation and both methylation can occur on the same carbon or it can occur on different carbons and uh, this question may be framed in different ways they can use different amines for the enamine formation and a series of ketones may be used for example in this case we used a six membered ketone but they can give you a five membered ketone like that or they can give you directly some unsymmetrical ketone like this okay so the main concept of this problem is based on how the enamine will form and if you know how enamine will form you can easily answer this kind of questions so let us first uh, proceed with the question which we have picked so this is our uh, ketone given and in the first step it is treated with sodium ethoxide so it will take proton from here and that will form the enolate right so we will get this enolate and this step is very easy you, you are familiar with this so methylation will occur on this enolate and you will have this unsymmetrical ketone then so basically the first step is the formation of an unsymmetrical ketone now they can give you the question from this step also they can omit the previous steps and with this substrate they can give you the question for example they can simply give you a question like this let's say you have one r group over here and this side is uh, devoid of r group so on this they can give you this kind of amines in the first step and in the second step they can give you methyl iodide so again two products are possible either you can get this or you can get this so what will be the product so now this is our today's topic and we have to find out that uh, in which side the reaction will occur that is the regioselectivity so this step is actually enamine formation so we are sticked to our original problem that is this one now in the first step when you treat this with a secondary amine what you will generate so condensation reaction will occur and you will get this imenium ion so this is a condensation reaction condensation between this carbonyl group and this nh group and you will form this imenium ion right and in this regard you need the secondary amine if you have primary amine then stable imine will form so for example let's say you treat the same with some primary amine like this so then what will happen you will end up with this stable imine right so this is a stable we don't want this stable imine rather we want this unstable imenium where we have this positive charge so now due to this presence of this positive charge it will try to become neutral now how it can be uh, it can be neutralized so if you eliminate this proton from here it can be neutralized so you can get something like this so this is one possibility another way of neutralization is deprotonation from this side so if deprotonation occurs from this side you can have a regioisomer of the imine like this so these two regioisomers of imine are possible either this one or this one 
now you have to decide that which imine will form now if this imine forms so then the methylation will occur on this side so here if you have methyl iodide the methylation will occur and you will get methyl group over here and again you will get imenium which will be finally when you treat this with water the imenium ion will break basically this is the hydrolysis and you will get this product but if the reaction occurs through this one then the attack will take place from this side and you will generate this product so again hydrolysis of this if you do hydrolysis you will get this one so now the question is whether this one or this one will form so again this is dependent on whether this uh, this inamine so this is called inamine in amine so the name suggests that there is a double bond that's why it is called in and there is amine so that's why it is called in amine now between this inamine and this inamine we have to find out the stability of these two so our two inamines are one is this one and another one is this one okay so this versus this now if you compare these two you can see this nitrogen lone pair is actually in conjugation with this double bond similarly here this nitrogen lone pair is actually conjugation with this in conjugation with this double bond and that's why uh, this this ring and this ring this ring and this ring they are in plane right now if they are in plane and if you consider this particular isomer these all these groups this methyl group and this large group they are in the same plane because they are a part of alkene so that's why there will be a steric crowding there will be a steric hindrance but in this case you can see this is not this portion is in plane and you have hydrogen over there so there is no steric clash and in this side this is a saturated carbon so this methyl group will either be above the plane or it will be below the plane so basically this group and this methyl group they are not in the plane so there is no steric clash so that's why this one is more stable so now we know that between this and this uh, this inamine is more stable and that's why the reaction will go through this pathway and you will get this as your product so similarly so in this case our correct product is methylation on the less hindered side that is one will be this side another will be this side similarly if you do the same kind of reaction with this substrate you will end up with methylation on this side so the rule is methylation or any alkylation alkylation will occur on less hindered site during the inamine uh, alkylation so this is a concept which is very important because many question uh, will come from this particular topic i hope that you understood this understood this topic if you like this video give a thumbs up share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for getting more videos like that thank you for watching